Hello everyone, and thanks so much for joining me on this channel, Adults ESL Online Learning. Have you ever wondered where to find materials or lessons to use or to teach your students, your English language learning uh, students? Well, I found this resource and I love it a lot and I wanted to share it. And it is, it's now called the ELLII um, library. Um, this, it used to be the ESL library and now it's ELLII. And I have an account with them um, and I've been starting to use, use their materials because they're very impressive. So I have it bookmarked, but this on my webs on my um, browser, but this is the website. It's ellii.com, and you can create an account to have access to these lessons. Um, this is a lesson on Ramadan. You can view the lesson. And you can see that it is for intermediate or high intermediate and for grades 6 through 12. You can access a PDF version, a task player, or send this as an assignment to your students. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back. And I'll show you other featured content. Um, this is zoo animals. We have flashcards, animals. Um, also, these are new lessons um, about novel study. Agency proposes global energy transition plan. Uh, this is a lesson about cherry blossom festivals, and this is a resource about speed, distance, and time. I mean, there's just so much more um, to explore, and I plan on doing that. But this is what I've been using. Uh, I'm going to type in my subject, which is cruise ships, because we're studying uh, traveling, and I thought this might be an interesting subject to accompany the topic of traveling. Um, so this lesson of cruise ships is for low intermediate teens or adults. Um, this one is for high intermediate teens and adults. And then we have flashcards about boats, um, cruise ship flashcards, transportation, and um, right now I'm gonna click on the low intermediate adults and the click on lesson. So here's the description in this lesson students read about the and discuss cruise ships and their negative aspects. They learn related vocabulary and they get to survey their classmates. And this lesson also includes a review of the prefix re. <clears throat> so here's the PDF viewer the task player and the assignment manager. If I click on the PDF viewer, I'm gonna see the actual lesson, um, like a hard copy. And um, they have the spelling, the US spelling, the Canadian spelling, and then the British spelling. And this is from the teacher's perspective. And here are the warm up questions. The vocabulary preview, you get to see the vocabulary and the, their meanings. Then there is a reading passage. And there's audio that goes along with this. So I'll click on this and you can hear um, an audio recording of this text. And then there's the vocabulary and then extensions with the prefix re. Uh, we have comprehension questions, a sorting activity, and um, where you get to put these questions beside that text. 
And then there's a movement break, which I think you can adapt into um, an online activity. Uh, I haven't yet. And then the vocabulary review, there's uh, vocabulary words that are the opposite. So students get to um, practice the opposite words to expand that vocabulary. There's more discussion. And then there is that class survey um, chart, which can also be used as a discussion starter. And then there is a fill in the blank, like a listening activity where um, you can play the audio recording again and we just fill in those blanks with the words that we've been using. And here are the answer keys. So that's the PDF version. And I'll click on the close menu. Oh, I'm going to click on the close cruise ships. And I'm going to show the task player. And this is a lot more interactive. Um, Here's a video with those questions to think about. So that video will play. That's a nice warm up. And then you click I'm finished. Um, then we can go to vocabulary preview. You can start that and um, you can move these words. by clicking on the word and then um, the space. So that's really a uh, fun activity. I'm going to task list. I want to go to vocabulary preview B. I want to change the task. So I want to go straight there and I'll start that. So it's interactive um, and I want to Let's see, I'll, I'll go to read and listen. I want to change the task. So I'll, here's that same text, but I can listen to it by clicking on this audio, this uh, player. And then when I'm finished, I'll click I'm finished. So that's the task player and personal response. Um, there's a record button and you can record your response to answering these questions. So if you, I mean, you can differentiate a lot with um, this resource. Um, you could use the PDF version for a certain type of learner and then the task player for another type of learner. Um, and then here is the task player or sending it as an assignment. I don't have um, a uh, this set up as individual students. I have it as a class like YouTube. So I could, let me see, continue. So I'll set the, the date to assign, when to assign, when it's due and, um, what are the tasks and I can just click and then I'll assign it, assign it to that, um, student, or I can write a note but YouTube is very general. So I'm going to leave this page. You have no students. So I, I can click and in, add um, individual students. And here I go with uh, add. And I can add it to either YouTube class or my first class. And let's just go to YouTube. So I'll send that student an, um, an email or I can um, invite new students with the codes. I'd rather just do uh, the email. But yeah, it's a lot of fun to explore. And if you don't want to go that far, you don't need to. You don't have to. You can just um, use the resource, the materials for your class like I've been doing and having a really good experience with these um, lessons so far. So that is what I wanted to share with everyone. And 
I hope you have a great day. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you're interested in more videos with this type of content, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.